The agent has increased fears of a wider war in Europe, so the U.S. and NATO countries are sending thousands of more troops right now to support their allied nations. And more sanctions are also being targeted Russian President Putin. KKL 9's Amy Johnson joins us live in studio with the latest developments. Amy? Well, Juan and Susie, President Biden spoke for more than half an hour with Ukraine's president today. The U.S. said today it would freeze the assets of Russian President Putin and his foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov. Ukraine's president addressed the country, warning Russia will storm Kyiv tonight. The fate of Ukraine is being decided right now. The night will be hard, very hard, but there will be a morning. Blast shook Kyiv today as Russian forces continue to advance on Ukraine's capital. A senior U.S. defense official says the Russians have been slowed down by a resistant Ukrainian military, which has been bolstered by citizen volunteers. But new satellite images show a large deployment of Russian ground troops and helicopters in Belarus near Ukraine's borders. To date, uh, the Ukrainians have been fighting fiercely in many places throughout the country. My sense is they're overwhelmingly forced that the, the, in a matter of days we could see the capital fall. NATO said today it's activating its response force, the first time it will be used for collective security. Thousands more U.S. and allied troops are also making their way to the eastern plank. There is no doubt about NATO's readiness to protect and defend all allies. There is mounting pressure to cut Russia off from the international banking system known as SWIFT. We are uh, looking closely uh, at uh, additional options uh, that may apply uh, appropriate pressure uh, to the Russian Federation, uh, to President Putin. U.S. officials and members of Congress fear if Putin succeeds in Ukraine, he could turn his sights to other former Soviet countries. No one knows for sure exactly where Mr. Putin's going to stop, um, and he's not telling us. And the United Nations Security Council met today to vote on a resolution condemning Russia's attack on Ukraine. As expected, Russia vetoed it. China abstained. The U.N. General Assembly is now expected to take up the resolution.